Hello, dear friends, and welcome to a new tutorial from the Desire channel. Recently, a new AI has been introduced that has truly exploded onto the scene, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. This image generating tool, which previously went viral as Nano Banana, has everyone talking. You've probably created images of yourself before, especially with GPT image, but they never really looked like you. Just look at the images created with this new AI and see how the input photo has been transformed. Before we start, I'd be happy if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started and have a general introduction to this new Google tool. First, let's look at how it keeps characters consistent when transforming images. Take a look at the input image of the girl with the hat. The prompt given was, remove the helmet. The hat is gone, but the girl's image remains exactly the same. Notice how beautifully it has preserved the character. Let's go to the next image. Here you see the input is a girl sitting in a car. First, a prompt was given to remove the mirror, then the background was changed to mountains, then the girl's hair color, and finally, her shirt was changed. Note that the character is consistent across all images. Here, two funny characters were given, and a command was given to turn the scene into a studio with a 1960s theme. Look closely at this image, too. The flower on the girl's head in the input image was changed to red flowers with just one simple prompt line, and the character remained beautifully consistent. Here, an input image was given, and it was asked to create five personal photos with a 1980s theme. In this image, with a simple prompt, it was asked to place the girl underwater and remove the background wallpaper. That's all. The character remained perfectly consistent. Here, two input images were given, and it was asked for a romantic close-up shot of them hugging each other. Both characters remained consistent and are hugging in a snowy setting. Here, an image was given, and the first prompt asked to transform her into a teacher with just one line. And other styles. Here, an image of a dog was given, and it was asked to be turned into a video game. It's the exact same image of the dog. Our input here is a photo, and with four different prompts, it was asked for other styles, which are all consistent. As you can see here, it shows a combination of images. It was given an abstract glass and an image of a woman, and with a single prompt, it was asked to combine them. This image is a photo of several whales with a mountain background. There are two input photos that, with just the prompt, remix this two image, were wonderfully combined. I think it would take hours for any 3D designer to create this. But by combining a fork with pasta, it created a beautiful 3D design. I think this will even challenge 3D designers. In this image, a picture of a bubble was given with another photo of two people sitting in a cafe. See how beautifully they've been combined. And other images where one person was removed and a woman was put in their place. It even removed the astronaut helmet beautifully. You can see the combination of a banana and a light bulb here. With a simple prompt, it was asked to combine them and created a beautiful image. And other combinations you can see, especially this one, where a dog was given with an image of a man, and it was asked to show the man hugging the dog in the image. See how beautifully it did this. The next feature it introduced is detail preservation. Everything here is clear and visible. You can see how beautifully it has preserved the details. In this image, it was given a hall and was asked to modernize it. I really like this image, and I know this tool is very useful, especially for Photoshop users. The input image here had a blue color, and with just one simple prompt, change all blue to green, all the colors were changed to green. In this image, it changed the weather and turned it into a sunny day. Here, it even preserved the details from a distance. Notice that the flowers on the building changed, but everything else remained. And even with another prompt, it turned the space into a winter scene, and everything still remained, even the tree with the same appearance and shape. Here, it was asked to change the color of the bird's feathers. Just note that it was asked to do this with a single line of a simple prompt. 
The interesting point here is that the dog in the input image has its tongue out, and the prompt simply asked it to close the dog's mouth. You surely have images where your face is half hidden behind a curtain. Notice that it was only asked to remove the yellow curtain. The whole image remained, and only the curtain was removed. The interesting part is that the half of the image created by the AI is exactly like the real image. I'll skip a few others so you can see for yourselves how it did this. It can even restore old photos and turn a sunset scene into a daytime one. Here, it only changed the text on the billboard, and everything else remained consistent. All the details were preserved with just a simple prompt. The new feature of Gemini 2.5 flash image is push design boundaries. Here, an image of a butterfly was given, and it was asked for a dress design. See how beautiful it is. I think this will even make the work of home designers more difficult. An image of a house was given along with a color palette, and you can see the output that was provided using the color palette. What a beautiful design it created. Pay attention to all the prompts written below. You can also use just these simple prompts. Here, an image was given, and it was asked to create a promotional image on a package. It's that simple. I really like the next feature. Now you can draw a design on a piece of paper. Even notice that the image drawn on the paper is from a distance, but it still understood what it was. And after creating the image, it displayed it with just a one-line prompt. And there are other images where you can see it was given a picture of a room and was asked for a design of old studio rooms. In this image, which is very good, it was given a pattern along with an image of a woman. And it was asked for the output image to be a woman wearing the same pattern as the one sent. You can see that the pattern has really been preserved and remains the same. It did this beautifully and with great precision. Here, it also shows that it created other stamps from one original stamp. They are exactly like the first one. In this image, a picture of a duck was sent, and the output image is a dress design that I don't think would be that easy to design. Just like the previous image, it was given a picture of a room and a color palette and was asked to redesign the space, and you can see that it gave us that design very nicely. The most difficult challenge is this image, where it was given two patterns and an image of a woman. In the prompt section, it was asked to combine the woman's dress with the second image and the background with the first image, which it beautifully rendered. The next feature is for those who write for children or comic books. It was given the same characters as before and was asked for eight visual story parts. I think a separate tutorial is needed for this so we can do it together, and I can learn and you can also learn with me how to use these for storytelling for children's stories. These are truly great features. Here it was asked for 12 story images. Look, all the characters are consistent with the input image, and it created them with an old and detective theme. I think for those who create protagonist designs, this is truly a great tool for content creation and a great help. In this section, as you can see for yourself, is its benchmark. In text and image, you can see that it is above all the others. And you can compare it with other image generation tools yourself. In my opinion, in image editing, it is several times more powerful than other platforms. So far in the video, we've introduced Gemini 2.5 Flash Image and the great features it gives us. Now let's see how it really performs in practice. Right off the bat, I want to say that we're only going to do a few tests. In future videos, we will focus more on the details so we can use the storytelling parts and other features separately. To start, as always, I'll use Google and search for Google AI Studio. I'll enter the first site. Right here, it says that the free account has limitations. I have created so many images that we can truly use this for our daily needs and even for content creation. It has provided us with this advanced tool for free, and developers can even use its API. By default, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image is active. If it wasn't active, you could activate it from here. It also explains right here that this model is also known as Nano Banana. 
By clicking this option, you can see that you can import your images from various places, from your drive, system, or by taking a photo, or you can use the samples. I'll import my image from my system and click the Upload File option. I'll import my image and wait for it to upload. After it's uploaded, I'll write this text for it, show this man as a doctor. In my tests, I've noticed that the image should have a smaller file size and better quality. It created the image, and he's wearing a doctor's uniform. It changed the hair and face, but it has followed many of the details, which you can see here. The image may not be that accurate, but I noticed that it made my watch exactly as it was. You can also download it right here. I'll go and use another higher quality image. After you've uploaded your image, you write your prompt. Show this man as a barber. I'll click the Generate option and wait for my image to be created. For images with a high volume, it takes a little longer. The image was created. I really enjoyed the creation of this image. Look at the beautiful quality and how everything has been taken into account, the glasses, the hairstyle. It's truly amazing and incredible. Here you can see the difference between the initial image and the output, which is truly enjoyable as it has considered everything. Now I'll open a new chat and want to upload two images to it. The same previous image and a new image. I'll wait for them to upload. And I'll give it this prompt, a close-up shot of a romantic moment holding each other while it snows. We'll click Generate and wait for the image to be created. This process may take a little time. Pay attention to the images and the faces of both characters. Let's see what the output will be. The image was created. It's truly amazing. I personally enjoyed this beautiful combination of images. Notice it kept both characters consistent. Even pay attention to the woman's dress and the clothes of both of them. It followed them exactly as they were in the images I sent. Now I want to give it a simple prompt to see what it does. It was written in the benchmark that it's great at photo editing. I'll give it this prompt, change background with Paris City. I'll click generate, and now let's see how it changes my background. It's truly amazing. It created the image. All the details were taken into account, the characters remained, and the background is Paris with the Eiffel Tower. How beautifully it did this. I enjoyed it. You can compare the images with each other. If you liked this video and it was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next tutorials, which I think will be very interesting. I love you all. Take care of yourselves until the next video. Goodbye.